Hi, today on 3D Printing with Catherine, I'm going to assemble my X-axis assembly for my Prussia 3D printer. Welcome to Chapter 3, X-axis assembly. I've just finished my yummy Haribo gummy bears and now I'm ready to keep working. After fumbling a bit in Chapter 2, I have a better understanding of how to find my pieces, so I'm quickly able to find my X-end motor and X-end idler printed pieces and my four linear bearings, as well as some associated screws and nuts that I need for my work. I need to squeeze the bearings into the end pieces, two into each. This is a pain to get accomplished because one has to go in all the way through and it can't go in on the opposite side, so it has to slide all the way through, and it's painful. And of course, there's no way to get it out once it's gone in. So I got these bearings in. Um, they're actually pretty hard to push through. Um, so I found that um, if I push the one in from the, this way from on this one, it was from this side here. Um, I had to use one of my Allen keys to shove it all the way through um, with this gap all the way to the end. Um, and then I could get the second one in. Um, there's no way to really push them in um, at least it wasn't for me with my fingers and you can't push it in from the other side because there's a lip to stop it from coming out that way so they all have to go in from sort of the one side um, and now my fingers are all greasy which is super awesome step four is completed and the bearings are in and i did make sure that my ball bearings were offset by 45 degrees now it's time to install some screws and the bearing housing which i have to say went rather well I need to pull out some more smooth rods, this time I'm using the longest ones, and I need three more linear bearings. I need to mark the bearings with a sharpie. I slide the bearings onto the rods and then quickly and gently insert the smooth rods into the X ends so the rods don't bend. Getting the rods in all the way took a bit of muscle. Back to my motor box to find the X axis motor and installing a pulley similar to how I did in chapter 2. I then get to install the motor onto the X motor piece. And that's it, chapter 3 is done. That was a nice, quick, and easy chapter, and it only took about half an hour to complete. Now I get to reward myself with some more gummies. Now I'm going to take a break before I move on to Chapter 4. Don't forget, if you like this video, please comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.